We're really well known as the number one fashion shoe retailer in the UK. We have this amazing brand, which is Kurt Geiger. We have our own design team, we have our own um, product creation people, the biggest design team in Europe. So we're, we, we love designing shoes. And then the, on the other side, we have this amazing luxury business, uh, number one shoe retailer for luxury shoes in the world. Put those two things together, we have this unique cocktail, which frankly is unrivaled anywhere in the world. Kurt Geiger is the UK's leading specialist footwear retailer. It enjoys a truly multi-channel model with long-standing relationships with the leading department stores, its own store network, as well as a sophisticated and fast-growing digital platform. We have an enormous floor solely dedicated to design and therefore I have the largest design team in, the, in Europe actually for shoes. We trade in stores from Debenhams up to Harrods and Selfridges. You don't want one brand to span all those things because success in terms of brand means quite clear focus. Kurt Geiger London brand is, I suppose, the halo brand. It's the brand that goes on all the celebrities' feet. It's made in Italy and it's lovely, but of course that means it's expensive. And therefore we have other brands, sub-brands of Kurt Geiger, that deal with a broader customer. So there's KG, Miss KG, novelty, fun, accessible. Carvella is our biggest brand. Predominantly, its big success are places like House of Fraser. So since we launched our handbag range, what, two and a half years ago, it's already 10, 12% of our store mix and probably forecast to be 14, 15% this year. So the growth has been quick. When you combine a multi-channel distribution strategy with Kurt Geiger's portfolio of own brands as well as third-party brands, what you have is a business with multiple avenues of growth, as well as the ability to mitigate the inevitable risks that you face in retail businesses. Well, our flagship store really is a critical vehicle for us. And actually, we've replicated Covent Garden in Hong Kong, in Shanghai, in Dubai. Well, the, the relationship we have with Harrods and Selfridges, for example, is is a really fundamental part of our business. We're the silent partner, so if you go into the Todd's Boutique or the Gucci Boutique in Harrods, you're actually buying them from Kurt Geiger. We were approached independently by Harrods and Selfridges about two years ago. We decided to enter into the kids' shoe business. We're very encouraged that that could be a very important strand for the future. We're in 80 Debenham stores. We're in 35 House of Frasers. We're in all of the Fenix stores. We started our first Kurgaga.com transactional website uh, 2005. And the conversation then was, will it ever, will it ever be successful? Will, will people ever buy shoes digitally? And today, it's as big as our 55 stores. Neil and the team have done a fantastic job in building Kurt Geiger but we think there's real opportunity to help capitalise on that and take the business forward. Specifically, together with our operations team, we're going to help accelerate the e-com presence, as well as internationalise the brand by investing behind it overseas. Today we're in over 20 countries and have over 30 stores internationally, so we've begun the journey, but it's fair to say we see that as just as the beginning. Our vision is to have a business outside of the UK which is as big as our business in the UK.